right. My slides have magically appeared. That is good. Um, hello, my name is Asaf. I'm from the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, this is Shulamit. She's from Johannesburg. She travels the world with me. And she's a member of the Wikimedia Cuteness Association, uh, a less known facet of Wikipedia work. So, um, wiki plus data equals Wikidata and why you should care. Uh, briefly, Wikidata is a central editable repository of structured and linked data on a wiki under a free license, CC0. Um, it's pure free software. The data is pure free data. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's editable by anyone. Scary thought for some of you. Um, including the ontology. So not just the data, but also the form of the data, right? What kinds of properties we record about the data. Even that is large, largely uh, editable. It is a sister project of Wikipedia. It is made by the Wikimedia movement. And increasingly, as Mike suggested, it's where the cool kids play. You are almost late to become a Wikidata hipster. <laughs> so get, get on, get, join us. Uh, so you can say, oh yeah, Wikidata, I knew it before it was cool, because uh, it's pretty cool already. So for those in the audience uh, who don't know structured and linked data, uh, very, very briefly, structured data means every single piece of information, every atom, every datum um, is described separately um, as a triple, subject, predicate, object, or item, property, and value, as we say in Wikidata. And each such triple in itself can be further described as necessary or qualified with a series of additional statements. For example, to express when this fact was true over time, right? Um, um, I don't know, Obama is no longer the president of the United States, but he was at one point. Uh, is it true or not true that he's the president of the United States? Well, that depends on the time. We can express that, we can model that um, in Wikidata. Uh, we can also model things like provenance that many of you care about. We can also accommodate multiple versions of facts, uh, each with its different provenance and source. These data statements link to each other. This enables the great power. This enables the discovery, the, re the reusability, reasoning about the data, and interoperating data. Sounds complicated. Uh, it's not that complicated. This is what it looks like on Wikidata. Uh, the Earth is an instance of a terrestrial planet, as distinct from you know, other kinds of planets. And here is a more sophisticated piece of data about the Earth. Its start date is 4,550 4, million years ago. How do you know? Well, this number comes with the determination method, lead-lead dating, whatever that is. Um, and uh, it is stated in this uh, famous um, uh, composition scholarly article um, by an American geologist. All right, still sounds pretty complicated. Why should I care? Wikidata has a lot of different uses. Here's just a handful of those uses. We can describe our data with a flexible level of detail or abstraction as appropriate. We centralize our data and avoid duplication of effort. Uh, for example, across languages. Uh, we avoid multiple copies of our data falling out of sync and invisibly falling out of sync. We connect disparate IDs from different data sets and align them to each other. ID 17 in database A is the same as ID 50 in database B, and Wikidata records that fact, thus becoming a discovery platform for data that exists elsewhere. Wikidata is the nexus connecting and allowing to leap across. You have one piece of data with one ID, you can access the Library of Congress or Digital NZ or whatever through Wikidata that has already made the matching for you in many cases. It is massively multilingual and helps you align vocabularies for terms, uh, including many languages that most of you don't have easy access to. Our very, very multilingual community does. And finally, it allows lateral querying across arbitrary vectors, which is fancy speak for you can ask it really, really interesting questions. <clears throat> Got examples? Well, uh, this is a person you may know, uh, kind of the most famous New Zealander I could think of. Um, and here are some other IDs we have for Sir Edmund. Uh, the VF ID for the libraries in the audience, the Library of Congress ID. Each of these, by the way, is click clickable and takes you directly to that record at that other database. So it's kind of a magical key directly into those other databases. We have the Dictionary of New Zealand Biography ID, the British Museum Person ID, 
uh, the Quora ID, the Te Papa ID, um, and, and about, what, 40 other IDs just for this one person. By the way, how do I know, um, how, do I, how can I check myself that this is a really famous New Zealander? Well, I can run a, run a query. This is the result of a Wikidata query about who are the most famous Kiwis according to their coverage in different language Wikipedias. Turns out there's one Kiwi who's even more well covered on Wikipedia, and that is the physicist uh, Rutherford, right? I did not think of that guy. Um, <laughs> And there are other people here, some of whom I don't know, but you probably do. All right. Uh, here's another Wikidata query. New species by year discovered. We can see that uh, there's been some kind of decline in new species um, uh, discovery in 2017. Uh, Mike, I'm looking at you. Um, um, how about hospitals in the world? Here's another query. By the way, the map is part of the query. You get it for free when you run Wikidata. It generates visuals for you. Um, this is an interesting one to notice and do something about knowledge gaps. Um, it's not actually the case that there are no hospitals in Kazakhstan. We just don't have the data about them and the coordinates in order to put them on the map. We can see this uh, with the blink of an eye using this uh, visualization. Um, finally, there are amazing things built on top of Wikidata. How about this site, Wikigenomes, for exploring um, gen genome data? Um, here is open data chlamydia for you, um, <clears throat> right down to the actual genetic code. Uh, how about this art browser, entirely built over Wikidata, but allowing us to query, for example, for Michelangelo, uh, and further filter it by medium, by date, uh, etc. This all comes from Wikidata, but it's a completely different interface for consuming this data from Wikidata. Um, how about comparing the output of the University of Auckland with Victoria University? Not trying to start a fight. But, you know, um, I can do that. I can do that with Wikidata. This is a query. Uh, I'm just getting started, but this is a lightning talk. So catch me later or drop me a line for more. There's plenty more. Lexicographical data, structured data for individual files. Uh, but I'm out of time, so thank you. <laughs>